I'm Jeremy. Let's art Zuka. in time, back where no egg has gone before. Back to the time of the dinosaurs. Let's make a dinosaur egg. Okay, if I'm going to make a dinosaur egg, I'm gonna need a baby dinosaur to put inside. And tinfoil is perfect for this. So I'll start off with one big piece of tinfoil. And the first thing I wanna do is take the corners off, just like these corners here. Now once you've done that, make a little tear here, 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 and here. This will be the tail, and this here is going to be the head. And for the legs, I just make a big tear right there. And right there. For the dinosaur's body, take another piece, crumple it up into a ball, kind of like that, and then place it right in the middle. Now it doesn't look like a dinosaur yet, but just give it a second. We'll start with the legs. I'll take this piece of tinfoil and just press it right into the ball. And then with my fingers, just pinch it and twist it so we have a leg shape, just like that. Let's make another leg. So I'll do the same thing. Crunch it into the little ball I made earlier. Pinch it and twist it. And now we have two legs. Now these two can be the back legs and this will be the tail. And for the tail, I'll take this piece of tinfoil and just smush it up into a nice long dinosaur tail. Now for the front legs. Twist them up, front feet and legs. There's one leg there. And here is the other one. Now I have the front legs, I can just make the head. For the head, I'm gonna crunch it up so it has a nice long neck because this is going to be Brontosaurus. And then with this little extra piece here, I just crumple that up so it looks like a dinosaur head. Then once you have the general shape, just use your fingers to work around it and just smooth it out. Now that I have the dinosaur, it's time for the egg. To make this egg, I used a small balloon and covered it with paper mache. And when it dries, it's nice and hard like an eggshell. Now that I have a tinfoil creature and an egg, I have to put the creature into the egg. So first, we'll cut off the top of the egg. So with my scissors, I'm just gonna carefully cut the balloon first. And just snip off the top like that. And now there's a little hole. I cut one slit into the top of the egg like that. And now, I can peel the top of the egg off, just like this. You can peel your egg top off, or you can cut it off, whatever works best for you. Now I have a nice big hole, I can fit my dino inside. Hope it doesn't get too lonely in there. <laughs> now that my baby dino is inside, we can seal it back up. And to do that, I take the top, and put it right back on the egg like that. With a little bit of tape, I'll hold that top into place. And this will just make it a lot easier when we add the paper mache. Now for the paper mache. 
This is just some white glue and water mixed together. And I'm gonna use some ripped up pieces of paper towel. I'll just dip it into the glue and then lay it on top like that. And then dip your fingers into the glue. And don't be afraid to get messy because that's our zuka. Just getting your hands in there and having lots of fun. With this paper mache, I just wanna cover all of the parts that I cut and the little hole that was on the top. Once I've covered it all up, I set it off to dry. Here's one I sealed up earlier. That looks like the shape of a dinosaur egg, but it doesn't really look like the surface, so let's make it look more like a dinosaur egg. And everybody knows that dinosaur eggs were covered in sand, right? Ah, well, if they weren't, we'll cover it in sand anyway, because it looks really cool. So to cover it in sand, I'm just gonna take a paintbrush, and I'm gonna paint some glue right onto my egg. Then, once I have the glue on the egg, I'll use this bowl of sand and sprinkle the sand on top. And check it out, the sand actually sticks to the glue. And it gives it a really cool prehistoric look. You can sprinkle your sand on, or check this out, you can roll it on. And see how that sticks to the egg? Once I've covered the whole thing in sand and let it dry, it looks like that. And that looks prehistoric. And now for the fun part. A prehistoric dinosaur. Prehistoric bunny? How did you get in there? To make your own dinosaur egg, start with the dinosaur to put inside your egg. You'll need some foil with the corners ripped. Add some crumpled foil to make the body. And crumple the foil more to make the legs, the tail, and the head. A bit of pressing here and there to give it more shape, and you'll have yourself a foil dino. The egg is easy. Use a balloon covered in paper mache to make the egg shape. When the paper mache is dry, pop the balloon and cut off the top of the egg. Put your dino creature inside. Then replace the top and add more paper mache to seal it. Paper mache is newspaper or paper towel dipped in white glue and water. When it dries, you can dip your egg in white glue and roll it in sand to give it an ancient fossil look. And don't worry if you missed any of this. It's all on our website at artzuka.com. Artzuka! Art? Artzuka! Silly what? See what's in this drawer. CDs. Um, oh. More CDs. <laughs> Another CD. Oh man, do I have a lot of these. A friend of mine who works in an office was throwing a bunch of these away. They're not music CDs, they're data CDs. You can't reuse them. Well, he can't but I can. I think these would make a cool Artzuka style decoration. First, we need some long strips of plastic. You can use cloth or string, it'll work too. We want to hang this, so I'm going to tie a loop at one end like this. Well, that should work. 
The thing about CDs is that they are ready-made for hanging. Watch this. Just take a piece of the plastic, push it through the hole in the CD, and then we have a nice loop. But first, we need to find something to put in that loop to keep this CD in place. And that is why I never throw anything away. Look at all this great stuff. Hmm. First, let's start off with this little gooey worm. I'll stick his head right through the loop. And then, pull. How easy is that? And this can just hang. Look at that. I want these CDs to be evenly spaced, so I'm gonna put four fingers in between each CD. That should be a good spot there. And make another loop. The cool part about this is that anything you like can go in here. Toy cars and trucks or dolls or pencils. All you need to do is put something in this loop so the plastic doesn't slip out. Hmm, how about next we use this old clothespin? My grandmother gave me this a long time ago, and I think this will look great on my curtain. Let's make another one. That's about the right space there. Grab another CD, put it through the loop, and then find something else. An old ski boot that I had and I put it through the wash and it shrunk. No, I'm just kidding. It's a toy boot. But when I pull it like that, it becomes a nice decoration. Another cool thing to try is doing these all silver side up or all silver side down or changing it up. Ah, here we go, a cool boom box. And this is really cool because CDs and boom boxes go together. This boom box might not stay on right away, so what I wanna do is this little trick. I'll take a small elastic, I'll pump my boom box out a bit, then pinch the plastic right underneath the boom box, then tighten the elastic like that. That was easy. Now I pull it through, and that boom box isn't going anywhere. An old hair roller. My mom used to use these in the mornings. They work great on your hair, and they also work great on your CD curtain. I've now reached the end where I've already tied a loop. But check this out. I've got a curtain ring and a cookie cutter. Watch. I put it into my cookie cutter that I found. Then I attach the curtain ring to the plastic loop. Another decoration. How cool is this? See how it catches the light? Look at this. Most people just throw this stuff away. These CD curtains are a great way to recycle old CDs and toys. You'll need a long piece of plastic. A rope or ribbon will work too. Slide a bit of the plastic into the hole of the CD. Now for the toys. If you slide one under the plastic and pull it tight, it will stay in place. I love how it catches the light. They look great when you hang them on your bedroom door. We've got lots more great ideas like this at Artsuka.com. Artsuka!
Hi, Jeremy. My name is Maya. What can you make using things from my junk drawer? That's a good one. Let's see what I can art zooka. Hmm. Nail clippers, shoelace, doorstop. It's a little guy with a big head. It's all in how you look at it. You know, sometimes I just can't figure out what to draw. I get stuck. So that's when I get rocks to help me. So I'm gonna use my marker and instead of connecting the dots, I'm just going to connect the rocks. With one line all the way around the rocks that I threw on the page. Once we've made our line, we can just put the rocks to the side. This is the fun part. We get to look at the picture we've traced and see what's there. Hmm. I think I see something. We'll give this guy a big, goofy eye. One little nostril. How about two big teeth? Just give him some toes. And this could be his little hump. And if you look really, really hard, you might be able to see a camel. And there we go, a cartoon creature. Here's one I tried earlier. I liked it so much that before I drew on it, I scanned it and made more than one copy. I made the one line all the way around the outline of the rocks, and then, did some individual circles. Can you see a picture in this? Check this out. This was the first image that I saw. It was a little rocket ship taking off, and you can see I have the rocket ship console, and then here's some smoke. This was the other picture that I saw. So I've made two totally different pictures, starting with a handful of rocks. So if you're ever wondering what to do on a blank sheet of paper, see where a handful of rocks can take you. Yeah. We have lots more great drawing tips at artzooka.com. Artzooka! And now time for an Artzooka safety message. Remember, when working with paper mache, it's a good idea not to get too wrapped up in your work. And a Zuka challenge! For my Art Zuka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of plastic container and a clip for plastic bags. I put them in a movie starring a paper bag. Come on, let's see what I made. And I also put something else in my movie, this ribbon. See if you can spot it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Artsuka. Here's the plastic container.
And here's the clip for plastic bags. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a crane. Now let's see it in a movie. Did you like the movie? I made a crane out of a plastic container and a clip for plastic bags. Hey, did you spot the ribbon? I challenge you to make something out of a plastic container and a clip for plastic bags. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artsuka website, artsuka.com. What will you, Artsuka, today? <laughs> <laughs>